It's Virginia Tech's third trip to Atlanta this season. Opened the year with a loss to Alabama, middle of the year a loss to Georgia Tech. Now the third time, maybe the charm against Tennessee. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's a preview of the Chick-fil-A Bowl, Virginia Tech against Tennessee. And let's bring in CBS Sports' to Spencer Tillman to break this down. And Spencer, we'll get to the Hokies in a sec because they're a bowl game all the time. This is their 17th straight bowl game <laughs> right. uh, with, with Frank Beamer. For Tennessee, though, first year under Lane Kiffin, what did you take out of the season with the first-year head coach? Well, if you're giving out grades, I'd give him a B plus. I mean, it's got to be considered a highly successful campaign. Anytime, Jason, you go into a program with the mission of changing the culture, that's the single most difficult thing and challenge a coach can have. And I think Lane Kiffin successfully did that. Brought in a high-profile staff that uh, kind of gave him the ability to kind of mitigate the credibility gap that tends to happen with these young kids. And they did a bang-up job, I think, in year one. A little bumpy along the way, some controversy, but got a near miss against Alabama. The team was playing for the national title. So I think winning numbers for Lane Kiffin and his crew there at Tennessee. And Tennessee won four of its last five games and spent the knock on the Vols early uh, throughout the season, or at least to the middle part of the season, was the offense, like last year, it, it was struggling. It cromped yeah. was throwing the ball away. But they averaged 33 points a game in their last five games mm -hmm. when they won four of those. What do you expect from that offense with seniors Crompton and Hardesty against this Virginia Tech defense? Well, high marks for Kiffin again for kind of reclaiming and really making Jonathan Crompton a viable NFL caliber quarterback. And people would laugh at that if you mentioned that a year ago. But the early numbers he put up and the way he steadied him, really high marks in that department. I think the way you attack, uh, if you're Tennessee in this game, you got to go with Montario Hardesty. If there's a weak point on the other side, it's uh, the Virginia Tech's ability to stop the run. I would start with the running game, get Hardesty going, and then that takes the pressure off Crompton. If he has a little relapse and gets back in that interception mode, which pretty much the find his career up until this year, uh, I think they've got a pretty good shot. Yeah, and let's not forget in last year's Chick-fil-A Bowl also, LSU came in. It wasn't the best yeah. year for Les Miles. They had Jordan Jefferson going. He got him ready to go, and they blew out Georgia Tech in this bowl game. <laughs> Tennessee's trying right. to do the exact same thing. You talk about Hardesty. On the other side, you had the uh, ACC Freshman of the Year in Ryan Williams. Yeah. Uh, ACC yeah. record 20 total touchdowns a a as a running back. But Tennessee's defense, Monty Kiffin's defense, has had a chance to prepare for he and Tyrod Taylor. What what do you expect from the Hokies offense? Well, you know you're going to have some wrinkles anytime Monty Kiffin particularly has a challenge like he does in the young runner in Williams. Uh, there's going to be some wrinkles there. But I think, again, because what Virginia Tech has historically done, they've been balanced. Not a lot of sexy stuff that they do. They just win and control the clock, control the game, run the football. And Tyrod Taylor can throw it when he's asked to do it. So I'm not so sure there's anything unique that we're going to see from Virginia Tech. Give the ball to Williams, and then when you get in those favorable down and distance situations, then maybe let Tyrod Taylor take a shot down the field because he's very accurate, particularly when he's taking deep shots down the field, which is unusual for a guy that doesn't throw it as much as he does. So I expect the Virginia Tech to have some success, but first with running. Yeah, and Ryan Williams is the key that makes this team go. Spence, uh, the SEC has won the last four meetings in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, SEC versus ACC. Before that, the ACC had won four straight in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Uh, so if you're going by that, then this would be the ACC's year for Virginia Tech. But are you going to take Tennessee to uh, buck the trend? Well, I think the Tennessee is good. They've made great inroads this year, but I cannot go against Virginia Tech. They're too balanced right now, and they really have the antidote to really stop Tennessee. And, they, and I think they get a pass rush on Crompton. And if they can just contain Hardesty, they've got a shot at winning at least by 9, 10 points. Yeah, one of the guys to watch in this ballgame, Eric Berry, uh, the junior, the oh, Jim yeah. Thorpe Award winner, is the best defensive back. Probably his last game most likely coming out here. Uh, this will be his last game at Tennessee, so we'll see how that all plays out. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. Happy New Year. Okay, Jason, thank you. Same to you. Happy New Year, my friend. All right, and for more on this game, which is New Year's Eve, be sure to keep it right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for your Chick-fil-A Bowl preview. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.